Guys, right out there, I got a huge surprise for you. We've had a rough summer, but this makes it all better right here. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Thermos Bison. Welcome back to the channel up here at the Dunbar place. Hanging out with the yearlings right here. Checking on them a little bit. Kevin's uh, Kevin's been the man over here. Been taking care of the original herd with some of our yearlings. But there is a reason I'm over here today. There's a good reason I'm over here today. And I mentioned this uh, two videos ago that uh, something good happened at the uh, Dunbar place. Now, uh, if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, Cole and I were out here hanging out with the Dunbar herd, kind of right after I lost that yearling. Surprisingly, we had three babies that Kevin saw one morning and sent me a video and kind of surprised me. And then Cole and I eventually came out here and, and saw the new babies and, and checked on the herd and whatnot. Well, we were talking about um, two cows during that specific uh, visit and conversation um, on that video and uh, well let's go down the pasture I got something to show you Okay guys, so <laughs> total complete surprise again. And I said that, I said this, I said that if this happened, you know, we've had kind of an interesting uh, summer, needless to say, and uh, hey peaches. And uh, it, it hasn't been a great summer, but some things, some good things have happened uh, with the tough summer and the drought and all that and losing a yearling. I want you guys to take a look at this right here. You guys know who that is? That's Eleanor. Eleanor had a calf. Princess, our princess finally had a calf. It's been uh, two years since she's had a calf. She missed one last year, so so excited. And guess what it is, guys? Son of bull. We have another Eleanor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I cannot believe we have another Eleanor. I am pumped. Uh, I discovered that it was a heifer uh, a couple days ago and uh, I was really excited to uh, to discover that. And uh, tiny baby, Peaches, she's just hanging out with me here. She's wanting cubes, but just a cute little red dog just fits Eleanor right there. They're both doing great, as you can see right there, uh, getting some nursing in.
it is so strange seeing red dogs out here in uh the beginning of september that is a uh, it's i'm just not used to it <laughs> but i guess i can get used to it if uh here at cross timbers we uh we have two uh calving seasons maybe maybe that's what uh maybe that's something new that we're doing here <laughs> it's not intentional but um it is awesome to see these little guys right here and they're all doing really good funny how that nature must really affect um when the timing of these babies um came because you guys know we've been in a drought all summer a historical drought here in our murray county in southern oklahoma but as soon as we got a little bit of break in temperature and it uh, got a little cooler and uh, we've got some rain finally a little bit of rain it was funny because the baby started showing up um, we had three within a day or two of each other and then a week later we had uh, two more which is Eleanor uh, the other a young heifer which I call a little heifer um, she's not little anymore she's gotten big but uh, she is a quapaw heifer so this guy right here has done his job and uh, so has Big Joe. It is official now. We are eight for eight, which is the first time that has ever, ever happened. I know this is just a small, small bison ranch. Uh, and this is where I first started was right here at the, uh, at the with the original herd. And uh, all of these are part of my original herd uh, that I started with, including Eleanor Princess right over here. It's just, a, it's a good feeling. Uh, we've been doing this since 2018. Didn't have babies until 2020, I guess, which isn't really that long ago, but that was our first set of babies was in 2020 because we bought some bred heifers, my, my bred uh, quapaw heifers, so we could kind of get things going early. They were in the spring of 2020, I believe, is when we had our first calves. <laughs> They're right over there together. Just the cutest little couple. Um, Eleanor's baby is a uh, is a big surprise to us obviously and the fact that we went eight for eight is a is a great feeling and i know that if you're a if you're a bison producer or a cattle producer you always want all of your mamas to have their babies and you you always want that to happen you just hope your 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 management of these animals has created that opportunity and uh, a lot of the work you put in you hope that in the end this is what you get and um this is what we got. <laughs> we got we got eight calves and uh i don't even care if they came late yeah august may it, it doesn't matter we've got eight for eight babies here and uh, it's a big deal um for a, a young rancher and um anybody that 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 does that so uh thank you guys for being a part of this journey on all this because uh You've seen the highs and lows of this channel, and, I, and that's the thing about it is uh, I, it's authentic. I bring you what I see and what we what we go through. It's not always uh, roses and butterflies around here, um, but uh, when you see these little guys, like this one was born in May, and uh, these two on the outside were obviously born in August, and that is uh, it's just a good feeling seeing these guys out here because they are an example of your hard work and uh you just hope to continue it when these guys grow up and uh do whatever we want to do with them whether we keep them or sell them or or whatever so it's uh we do it all for that right there and just guys we raise the coolest animal in north america and uh yeah, we're proud to say that as a family we raise bison and uh there's no other baby that comes out like that something about seeing a red dog and uh it's special so very very thankful for these animals as well so some of you may wonder what is the patch on eleanor's back uh bison get, kind of get these uh sort of scabs they, they like to rub on stuff trees and they roll in the ground and whatnot and we do have some trees out here that they can get some shade on but uh what happens is that they they rub on those and uh get some scabs and of course the flies kind of get on them it always happens this time of the year but it's a uh, it's really not a big deal it'll heal over the winter when the when the flies are gone and there a lot of their hair starts to come in take a look at this little guy right here
I'm sure. Curious, just like Obama. <laughs> hey guys, don't forget to do something. You guys can check out our website. We've got bison jerky and bison sticks, 100% bison. No, no other animals added to, into this. You guys can check it out at our website. We've got plenty in stock. All at crosstimbersbison.com. Dunbar, I'm wearing your shirt. He's like, I don't care. He's on to bigger and better things. Ball in the ladies' room. What's even better about Eleanor having her baby <laughs> is she had a heifer, which makes it even way more exciting. Is uh, We still have her bull. He's up there. I'm going to try to sell him for a breeding bull. He's a pretty good looking bull. So she's obviously had a good baby. Hopefully this one is really small right now, but that's okay. Heifers are typically smaller when they're born than the bull. So that means that this is Dunbar's baby is what that means because should be Dunbar's baby because these two right here, matter of fact, both of these are should be Dunbar's because we had both of them, which is Flo and Eleanor pinned up uh, together with Dunbar because we brought Big Joe down to the big pasture with the bigger, with the majority of the herd. So, I, I mean, I told it, I told Cole, I said, it will make the year if uh, Eleanor has a baby and she did. So, ah. Uh. It's a good feeling. It is a good feeling. But what's going to be interesting is when we do work the animals this fall, we typically would wean these calves. Uh, but because these guys are born so late, we won't be able to wean them. So uh, we probably won't be able to wean them until actually the spring because they need to spend at least six or seven months with mama um, is what we typically let them do. So. Uh, but the ones that were born in May, we'll be able to take them off of mama and start the weaning process. And uh, hopefully we'll start the working in November. And as you guys always know, it's always interesting. And now we have two herds, um, original place and at the Ponderosa as well. Well, we're gonna head back to the fair barn. I'm gonna show you guys something. Uh, we're going to the fair barn because um, Brooks entered some chickens in the county fair, the Murray County Fair. So we're going to uh, check on uh, Brooks's chickens. I've been taking care of them, took them up there and all that. And uh, she got some awards. So um, I'm gonna show that to you guys. Uh, we'll go up there to the county fair and check it out. Oh, chocolate swirl brownies right here. 
That's your, that's your black chicken. She won. Say, like, come on, Silky. Get out of there. Oh, that's not the Silky. That's a, it's a crested something or another. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you soon.